Gamer Dude 2088, and we're back for another Skylanders Ring of Heroes video. And today we're going to talk about why is Kaboom so good, especially for early game and progression and all of that. We're going to dive right into it. First, we're going to start off by talking about where you farm on. So as you get off into the game, get your little grind on, doing your little thing, you go through the first little area, you're probably following the quest line a little bit too, then you get to the little third area, and that's not quite it, right, well, you get to the third area though, but you see, you can't farm them yet, because, you know, you're just doing it through easy, but you gotta get through normal, so, normal is the stage where you do farm it, and you're able to uh, get his pieces to get them. But to get to normal, you first have to get through Pinata on set. So it's going to take a little bit to get through 7 easy. But once you get through 7 easy, then you're not going to have too, mu uh, too much of any issues going back through normal for the most, for the most part to get to Kaboom. Because at that point, you're probably farming normal for your energy rooms you know so you can fill out your team with your energy room so you can go ahead and grab that kaboom that you're going to find here on the normal stage and you're going to spend a lot of time here grinding 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 but what but why why kaboom why so much so here we have kaboom in his unawakened form and let's go through his skills really quickly with his first skill which uh costs two mana on a 15 second cooldown, you can minus two endurance to one enemy, and it says fires a cannonball at the enemy, deals one bonus hit on, on a random enemy, and casts attack down for one turn. Attack down is pretty devastating because you know, less attack, then an extra hit, and it can hurt as well. Well, come to us having released the multipliers for skills, so we don't know exactly what they are, but once you start building them you'll see the damage and see why that is so strong then we go to the second skill it's one enemy minus two on doors four mana cost pretty steep before 11 second cooldown which really which is relatively quick about average for uh, that mana cost it says jump onto the enemy cast explode for five uh five turns so you know explode is your bomb after five turns it goes it blows up but the killer part is once you awaken him get him in his awaken him form this becomes an aoe bomb which is pretty devastating on not too low on pretty low cooldowns and not that steep of a mana cost. Four is about uh four is about decent. But what makes what else that makes him so good is that first skill on the two mana. On average, most skills that cost two mana usually are around an 18 second cooldown for this skill being 15 seconds it makes it really efficient and it has it you have it up relatively faster than most other unit skills in the game so that's a great thing that's a great thing the third skill is one that's not really used so much but we'll just go over it anyway because zero mana costs eight seconds so it'll be up really quick but it says focus for nine seconds launches a missile at the enemy removes one buck and gains 30 percent chance to activate critical hit so it's it's not a bad skill it's still a great skill and in certain situations you might opt to use this skill but this is the one that is not as used as often so let's move on kaboom does have great synergy with other bombers whereas if you had spitfire for instance, or for what a lot of people have been farming for, pretty easy on my list. Probably should have just stayed in the collection section because I don't see him. Ah, Boomer. Boomer. Uh, and amongst other bombers that he has great synergy with and able to dish out a lot of damage. Boomer especially because of the attack up that he provides, which will create more damage for your explode effect later on. And as you see, I did I opted out of farming for Kaboom, even though he is the best unit to have in the have in the game, just because I wanted to do something different. But in regards to Kaboom and his greatness and his dominance in the game, 
the he can be used practically everywhere. He's really strong in Mirage because the bomb effects are just so strong. You got damage on top of the bomb damage. He's good for your progression because once you do get him awakened, the AOE is going to help you clear ways faster in the scenario. And also in Arena, he's dominant. He's really strong just because of the same reasons. Those AOE bombs, once he lands, it's hard, especially if you have another AOE unit or you accompany him with Stealth Elf, which can sniper target really fast and things of that nature. So it makes it makes him really good in, in that regard because he can synergize well with so many different units, making him a powerhouse. Now, the biggest problem I find with Kaboom is the fact that he's so easy to build he's so he's so good and he he's overpowered in regards to a lot of of everything else i mean even better than his counterpart spitfire which is a five star which should be better i mean he's a slightly squishier but as you level and build on me that won't be an issue as much anyway or period for that matter just because you'll be dishing out so much damage so quickly because how low his cooldowns are and how efficient the mana cost to his cooldowns are as well none of that would even matter and since he's a unit that you can farm a little bit earlier on not completely early because you have to farm on the on the normal stage but he is relatively early in comparison to a lot of others especially kaboom which you will have to get later on down uh, later on down the line it's quick that you can put him together now the age-old question is what you do first with him when you farming him do you awaken him before a six star or do you six star him before awakening now now this is a bias that could go either way but personally what i believe is you five star him you awaken him and then you six star and here's why you want to give him five star because five star is that benchmark that can get you b7 b8 and in some regards from what i pe see people do uh, amongst the community even b9 just uh with hit and miss there but generally b8 is that is that high threshold benchmark for where five stars start to fall off and six stars are starting to really pick up to push that progression even more so you will five star him and then awaken him because once awakened once again his bomb which the, the explode effect is only one enemy once you awaken it and it becomes all enemies you got that aoe effect so now you can clear content faster and that's what you want to do at the end of the day is to be able to progress as fast as you can possible until you run out of gems and energy but that's another discussion uh so awakening five star in him awaken him and then six star him would be what you would do and you would want to do this from start to finish you might want to take a little break mess around do some stuff in between but you want to really grind it out and spend all the time you can focusing on getting kaboom five star awakened and then six star just so he can start clearing all the content you need and start helping you farm for the other units that you want to use and you want to build for your progression and for your teams and for your account moving forward so that's just a basic rundown for kaboom and why is he like so good because he's really powerful and hard to deal with i mean even with even with my account doing something different i run into issues with kaboom in the pvp scenario uh, scenario just because i have so many air units built and i mean it's not good to be at the disadvantage against kaboom in a kaboom meta just not good <laughs> but that's just my thoughts on the whole matter i hope you enjoy if you got any other input Please do share that in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button because that like definitely get me up there to the top of the food chain. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn those post notifications on so you can be the first to see my content. As always, you can catch me on twitch.tv forward slash gamerdude2088 so you can see me live and pick apart my brain because people do it. We, we sit and have good discussions. We be talking about this. We be talking about how to break the matter, how to get the kaboom out of there. Mostly it's once people get Boomer and then Boomer and Kaboom come together. Then it's like Kaboom, boom, 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 boom. And then bombs everywhere and then we're going to have to figure that out. Buff um, DPS come to us, please. And I'm out. Deuces. No, no, really. Attackers need to be buffed. Especially the AOE ones. Bombs shouldn't be that strong.
Or you can nerf it. I don't believe in nerfs, though. I just like buffs. Buffs. Buffs are better. Buffs are better than those. Don't you think so? I'm just going to end this video.